Fear is the inability to deal with the pressure presented. So when a dog is walking down the street and a car drives by, that car produces both movement-based pressure, spatial-based pressure, and audio-based pressure on the dog, right? So audible pressure. The dog either views those things as pressure or doesn't and responds in kind. So that is the definition of fear for me, is the inability to deal with the pressure applied. So um, this could be any number of things. Fear of, a, of you know, people, fear-based aggression when somebody comes into your house, new person comes into the house, that new person comes in and create, creates a spatial pressure on your dog. Your dog doesn't know how to appropriately deal with, categorize, and move past that pressure. Therefore, they respond in aggression in order to relieve the pressure because that's ultimately what happens. If they respond in aggression, that person doesn't touch them, that person backs up, that person moves away, or you put them up, pressure relieved, okay? So for me, fear is always, I don't know how to deal with the pressure applied. And the manifestation of the fear, whether it be running away, whether it be you know, cowering down and shaking, whether it be becoming aggressive, all has to do with what that dog has seen as successful in prior situations where they became afraid. So if the dog has seen that when I become afraid, if I cower down and tuck my tail and put my head down, my owner will make the thing go away or pick me up and move me on, or that thing won't keep coming and it won't bother me anymore, then that passive way of dealing with pressure becomes the solution for the dog. If the dog sees that forward aggression causes this thing to move away from me, now forward aggression becomes the solution to the fear or the pressure applied.